Welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. All right, we're getting ready to touch this off here, but we want to go ahead and have an idea of where we're at. Now we take this one here that's already been machined, and we can take our large gasometers here, and that's like 7 inches, 705. And I've checked it in a couple different places here, 7 inches, 700. And then we kind of like try this direction over here. And we're 7 inches, 704. So, you know, we're going to kind of go with that dimension there of 700. 7 inches, 700. Alright. Now, how are we going to judge this? Well, we're flat on the table there. So we can come up here with a straight edge, just like this in our in our uh, scale, and we're about seven inches eight twenty. All right, and this is rough casting, so we're not going to have a pretty good idea until we actually create one smooth flat surface on here of where we're actually at. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come down and we're going to touch this off. First, we want to find out what kind of material we are. Uh, cast iron and it puts out a powdery chip, we're going to blanket this whole mill because I want to make sure that I'm not getting any chips down in on the ways. Uh, cast iron wear in between cast ways uh, wears out your machine pretty fast. Alright, so we got this running pretty slow and our, our quill is engaged on the boring feed but without feeding it <clears throat> so that we can hand crank it right on down real light to touch off on our part. Okay, and this is cast iron, so we are going to go ahead, pretty sure, breaking, breaking chips pretty good. I'm going to put a curtain or a blanket on my ways anyway on the back side here. Alright, we got a couple good sized magnets here. And we can bring that like that. Alright. That'll be enough to protect the ways anyway. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to give this like... And yeah, we'll give it 25,000. And... Uh, Give it a moderate feed there. Feels pretty solid. It pays to mount it down properly like this. Those are pretty firm chips though. They might actually be cast steel. Still with the rust and the film and stuff, it's uh pretty good idea to cover those ways anyway. One of these days I'll have to have a, a rubber apron put in there.
Okay, the first thing you're going to be concerned about is mismatch between your cuts. That feels minimal. Uh, of course, we are ho we are hogging off uh, quite a bit in in uh, our cut there. It was real shallow over here. You can see that it didn't clean to the edge, but as it got higher over here, it was heavier. All right, now we're going to get a true measurement straight down here, and we are seven inches eight hundred. All right, so we're about a hundred thousandths high right now, and you know this is this is pretty pretty close to a little over a hundred in there, and that's what that ring right there barely shows in on the uh, on the old one there. So let's go ahead. We're gonna crank in. Oh, leave that there, and. We're gonna crank in. I'm gonna crank in 25. I don't feel. I don't. I don't want to push it. when it starts getting wider and you pick up more surface area on your cutters that you get a better cut out of it. It quiets right down. You always want a certain amount of tool pressure on your uh, shell mill or your, your index. Now we could, you know, you can fly cut this. Of course, it'd be really chucking some stuff all around but it would be really pounding the heck out of the spindle bearings. Looks like we're at like seven, seven twenty-five. Take another twenty thousands, and uh, and then we'll call that uh, the height. <clears throat> okay, and crank it in. Twenty thousands, right there. Okay, our final cut across here. Well, it is nice and smooth back here. This is pretty good. I had that tr head trimmed in pretty close. Let's uh, switch it on over to our drill uh, chuck. When I uh, come over here, I'm going to start getting those three holes in there. All right, let's 
we get over here pretty much uh, we can zero this thing out again just to verify being center again of course <laughs> what would a video be without a phone call all right let's um let's see we're gonna we're gonna want to speed this up just a little bit here not much though all right all right you want to come up one inch five three seven right there all right now we're gonna be we're gonna be seven seven eight eight seven five over this direction all right there's the first hole okay now let's kind of just gonna put this up here kind of take a look at that where the instructions say to put it. Looks like that one in the mirror. Our, our feed and we'll manual feed it. off slightly give ourselves about a about a sixteenth of an inch there lead chamfer all right now we want our tap follower here it is
All right, and there's our tap. I don't know if this handle is going to be big enough. I might have to go get a bigger handle. Well, let's give it a shot here. Seems to be fine. Seems to be cutting okay. We're actually getting uh, chips right out of the bottom of there. It's kind of cool. Threads look good. First hole, done. Just take a look at how this arm will look on here. And we're going to come over to our other mark here. Alright, there's our other hole. And that looks good. Okay, there's two. Let's go for the last one. Okay, now let's go ahead and get our center drill in here. All right, now we need to go. Um, the, the can says uh, 2 and an 8. So 2 inches, 125 is right there and we needed to come back three eighths of an inch from right there three seventy five all right now if say if everything is in the right spot then that center drill should come down in the middle of that and I like that all right
Hop. There goes everything. All right, now. Of course, these are these are locking nuts, so I'm not gonna force these down on there. There you go. Well, if we helped you out, any I'm glad. Uh, you know we we did help you out with how we went about finding out where the hole pattern is and the alignment and everything else that uh you know you kind of end up being in the guessing game but by having this whole one in in hand we're able to dress it up a little bit put it in a machine and create the unknowns and once we created the unknowns we were able to go ahead and buzz the top and put it in the hole pattern so anyhow uh, it's been a while this job was kind of held up because the hurricane and uh, the storm that went by material being lagging that bunched up other jobs not that this was bunched up here but because work backed up a little bit um, you know this was on the back burner anyhow uh, he stopped by yesterday I told him I was gonna knock it out today and I did and he's all set and good to go so until next time get her done